All right, let's check it out. Let's install it. Let's put these things together. Let's check it out. Let's take it apart first. I mocked these up all first. But we're gonna put these nice in order. So first I'm gonna wrap them with Teflon tape. I'm sure according to somebody, this is the right way. And I'm sure according to somebody, this is the wrong way. But as long as you do it and it doesn't leak, you did it right as far as I'm concerned. You could do it with just this tape and I'm sure that's fine, but I've heard so many people tell stories about how their bags leaked or whatever. So I'm doing everything I can to make sure that doesn't happen. So I've got some of this Permatex thread sealant with PTFE. It's number 80632. And uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit kind of around it. Like I said, uh, the Teflon tape should, should hold it nice and sealed. So if you look on the valves, they have an arrow pointing the direction of which way it goes. I'm gonna just use a wrench on this part. I think it's uh, 13 sixteenths now. Seven eighths, there we go. Lock that up. That's tight there. I'm gonna wipe this off. I need a paper towel though. I don't wanna, I don't wanna try to keep as much off of the valve itself because later on I'm probably gonna paint these. So I like to try to keep this as clean as possible for the most part. There we go. That looks nice. Good thing is I only have to do this one time, you know, if I do it right. So these valves are uh, from a kit that I bought from Vixen Air. They all seem to be pretty much the same unless you want to spend the money for actual air ride, the company air ride. And uh, the convenient part about air ride is they, they sell bolt on kits and you're like, well, why didn't you just buy a direct fit bolt on kit for your 69 Chevelle? And well, direct bolt on kit was like four or five grand, I think, or some, something crazy. So I was able to, I was able to buy this kit with everything I need for just, I think around 1500 bucks. I don't remember the exact price, but that was about a year ago. It was one of the first things I bought for the car. Cause I'm like, you know, this car has a four link suspension, which the Camaros don't have. So like swapping over to an airbag setup really wasn't all that difficult because it already, all you had to do was put the, uh, if, now if I had a vice, just to be clear, if you have a vice, this is going to be a lot easier. Cause I could just put this in the vise and then turn it and then you're golden, you know? So you make sure that you put these in the same order. So the arrows face in the same way. Cause my plan for this one is the feed comes in on the part that I'm holding with my left hand right through here. And it's going to go out to one of the bags and then it's going to go out to oh that's going to be good
All right, so this is the air pressure lines. They come in uh, one big roll. I cut that in half, and then I cut that in half, and I get the four lines that go to the gauges. So you want to kind of cut these up nice and square. They send you a little tool to cut these off, but it's really not that big of a deal. So what I've been doing is I've been marking each one of these lines. So like, for instance, this is RF bag, so right front bag. And if you're not sure what's right and what's left on a car, it's supposed to be when you're sitting in the car. So it's, I know a lot of people like to just say driver or passenger side, but this is the kind of way everybody understands it who works on cars or should anyway. So this is the right front bag, which would be the passenger front bag. And then I'll mark the other side of it because all of this is connected to the gauges and the airbag valves. So, and I'm also gonna put one on the actual valve itself. I haven't decided if I'm gonna paint the, the valves or what, because they're gonna be covered anyway. So I don't really know. I, I haven't quite decided that, but I'm still marking them either way. Cause even if I paint them, I can mark them afterwards. So, so right front bag on both ends. This way, when I go to hook it up to the gauges, if you notice there are two needles each side, so this would be the left front and rear gauge because there's a yellow and a black needle. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a yellow and a black needle. And then these will be my controls. This is gonna go where the 2015 Camaro, where the AC and the radio controls are. So this will be these, these gauges there, and it will also be the AC controls. And then I may put a radio in there, but I may not. I haven't, I haven't quite decided. I think you should listen to the motor, but we'll see my nephew who's like my best friend, he tells me I should put a radio in it. It'll sell a lot better, but we'll see. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Now I need to do the other ones. And the way I printed them out is with my old trusty uh, Dynamo tag. I love this thing. It works great. Left front. Let me just make sure these are all the same. Left front, left front, because I was talking. Yep, these are the same. And then these will go on the gauges. And now I'm going to do the right front. So these are, I guess they're called shark bite connections, which make it really simple. So all you do is push them in. So this is left front bag and I marked that right there. So it's just got a little, and if you need to release it, you can release it too, which is nice. So you just push it in, that's it. Now it's, it should be sealed properly. That's the, the idea of it. And here are the two that I just showed you. This is the right rear bag. So I'm gonna put this right into here. a little bit back that one's there and now these and this is right front bag now I'll put some zip ties on this to kind of tighten it up and make it look pretty here's how you wire it all up I've got a little wire thing that I created the different pairs and all that stuff makes it a little easier so only thing I'm wiring up for the rear bags right now so I'm gonna wire up these ones. And what, you gotta think that each one of these uh, corners are just a separate thing. So once you figure out one corner, you just repeat the process for all four corners. So each corner, let me move this battery so you can see this a little better. So each corner has two valves. One to let air in, the air comes through the, you know, from the tank into here and goes down through and one valve opens up and then it pressurizes from here down and then it closes and when it, when it closes it doesn't allow any more air in this system past there and then this right here feeds the bag this will go to the right front bag which i don't have hooked up right now and then this this little line is for the gauges so it tells me how much pressure is in this bag because this is just an open thing so, it, so it's always going to tell how much pressure is in this bag and then if i want to let the air out i open this valve which takes lets the air out and goes through here and that's it and it's on a rocker switch so you can't open them both at the same time if you did it would just blow air straight out it wouldn't do hurt anything but so anyway so each one of these have two wires coming off of it and there's no like positive or negative it's just a coil so either way you charge it it's still going to just move up or down so you take i'm going to take each one of these and i'm going to wire two of them to ground and the other ones are going to be feeds so I'm only gonna wire up 
the ones for the front bag, I mean for the rear bags, which are right over here. So I'm gonna run those out. Let me get these. This this bag setup is from Vixen Air, and this is the half inch fast valves, which a lot of people go to the manifold setups, but the problem with the manifold setups are that the um, the ports, even though, because I just got a manifold setup and I was gonna do that, each one of the ports is only, even though it's for half inch lines, the funny thing is, it's only, uh, let me clip that off, I don't like that. It's only uh, a quarter inch opening on the inside. So you're limiting yourself. I don't know why they did that. And when I contacted, uh, I think it was Chassis Tech or somebody like that that I bought it from, they said, oh, that's the way all of them are. And I'm like, well, then why do you have it listed as a half inch feed, you know? I mean, yeah, it'll fit a half inch line, but you only have a quarter inch on the inside. So he's like, oh, it's three eighths. I'm like, no, no, it's not in there. It's, I took a drill bit. I know it's, it's only, and I measured it. It's only a quarter of an inch, not even three eighths. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna run the grounds first. I'm gonna feed these two together. And then this is gonna just be a terminal. So I found that using the right tools definitely helps if you can find your tools. And so I used to use the cheap crimpers and stuff and they don't really work very good. I'll be honest with you. They don't really, just everything about them just kind of sucks. And let's go to this one right here. Clamp that together. That should be golden now. Yep, there we go. Now I'll make my ground for that one and I'll do the other side too. I do the other side at the same time. I like to do things in a system so I don't mess it up. Because somebody like me will mess things up. And this is what I do. I strip these wires, both of them. These are the left rear bags. And then it doesn't matter, like I said, which one of these you use. It shouldn't. It shouldn't matter which one of these you use for the ground because, like I said, a lot of this stuff, a lot of stuff on cars is what I would call dumb systems. They don't, they just do one job. And as long as you understand that one simple job that they do, it's really pretty simple. We like to complicate things as human beings, but no reason to. If these were different, they would have different markings on them. They, uh, but they don't, they just, uh, they just show. Now these wires were tinned for soldering, which is kind of nice, but you know, I'm not gonna use that, so it doesn't really matter. These are just some terminal connectors. I think I might've picked up a bunch of them on Amazon. Amazon is great because they really do just have every single thing that you need most time. And it's pretty reasonably priced. And I like that I can just get them from the comfort of my home. I don't have to leave. So now I'll put these two together. So this is gonna be the left rear up. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this ground to wire it up. Because this has a pressure safety switch. And what it does is the way they have designed the pressure switch is that it's just another dumb system. So what you do is you hook one side to this and now I'm gonna hook one side to ground and then that should be the power for it. So I'm gonna use this clamp to be my ground wire. now woohoo all right that should be aired up now what we're gonna do we're gonna try this bag right here well this line right here this should blow air out oh that's gonna be so cool when I do it full time it's gonna be the two pumps not just one okay so now we're gonna do the grounds So that's this terminal right here. We're going to use the crimper. I watched the videos on the differences between soldering and crimping. And uh, the one I watched was actually from Holly. So it was pretty informative. You know, they believe that um, a good crimp is just as good as soldering and sometimes better. The problem with crimping is that a lot of people do it wrong. And I, and I, I, I did it wrong for the longest time, I think. So now I know the, the proper way to do, to do it. 
and that's pretty cool. Now I can do it right. So, so these are going to be ground up top here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a little extra wire to run to the other ground. So ultimately you would really want what I'm going to start buying are the uninsulated ones. So you can see where your clamp is. So what you want is you want the round part on the side where the crimp is, where the little cutout and it is and you want the bite to come up through the opposite so I, I always did it backwards now I know I'm gonna cut this one extra so I can kind of run it a long ways because I like consistency this nice and flat. Okay, got that one. Now we look for a left rear up, left rear up. So now we'll start the rounds. I went to my local hardware store, which for me is Home Depot. 8 gauge wire, these have a 40 amp breaker. So with a 40 amp breaker, it calls for uh, 8 gauge for 12 volts. Now, I remember when I used to do electrical work that the grounds can be smaller. I don't remember how small, it's been 20 years since I did any kind of electrical work really. And I think I have, I think my regular, my big crimper tool will work for these. Let's go check. Let's see if that that's small enough. Yeah, you can't pull that apart. He's right, boy. So essentially, if you were to look at this on the inside, you would see that the wire is basically crushed together. It's not crimping just the outside of the terminal. It's actually crimping the part that kind of covers it all. So this will be the ground for both. inside just in case if it doesn't so if it blows up it won't kill me there we go that's all ground what is it baby where's the leak coming from oh i see what you're saying i bet i could tell if i was close well, get close it, oh i mean can here, we get right like here. a you found it? Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Okay, cool. Gotta tighten that up. All right, so check it out. Here's the car. I got it on bags in the back. I got the Vixen Air set up. I've got a pump set up for, uh, it, it, it set, turns on and off at 100, turns on at 150 pounds of air and turns off at 180. So uh, I checked that, it works. And now let's see this thing on bags. Let's get inside the car. You know, I've got the 2015 Camaro, I've got the 2015 Camaro center console and the 2015 Camaro uh, SS seats so on the ZL1 steering wheel. So let's see what it looks like. So if the pump comes on, it's gonna be a little bit loud, but let's see just how fast it is with, with full pressure now. Here we go. Four corners, you know. 